Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, I'm John, this is Medieval True Dead, and welcome back to Medieval 2 Total War, where last time, Poland has made the stupidest decision imaginable, which is they decided to honour their alliance with the Sicilians and attack a navy belonging to the Pope. So the Pope is now at war with them and has immediately excommunicated the bastards, meaning it's open season on them, no more of this whole ridiculous... Hey, you know what? We've got to, you know, obey the Pope's instructions and we can't go attack. No, 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 no. <laughs> now Poland can just belong to us. Okay, and that means that the most important person in the world just became uh, the Pope. Because when the Pope dies of any circumstances, old age or assassination or anything, or in battle, as he has done before, the first Pope did die in battle with Milan, then yeah, if the Pope dies, then generally all excommunicated factions get reconciled at that point. The Pope also might choose to reconcile the Polish after they've had a few losses, because basically they've learned their lesson. So I need to act quickly, because, you know, Poland might send over diplomats and start giving the Pope money, get themselves reconciled if they just kind of get themselves liked enough that they've given him enough money, or if I take a few territories, or if time passes, or if the Pope dies, or any number of things, they might get themselves reconciled. So... I need to basically get things going. Now, I've got a nice healthy economy here, 12,000. I was spending that on, like, infrastructure and improving the lives of my citizens. We're not doing that anymore. Now we're just using that money to build a massive great army over at Magdeburg and Stettin in order to head over here towards the Polish capital. We've got this big army here at Thorn, but I feel like that probably ought to instead be going over here towards Vilnius, which looks vulnerable. If we could take Vilnius... And then, oh, they've still got quite a few bits and pieces. Then there's this useless bit down here. Fine, but Lazani the second. Where did you come from? Why are you I bloody here? You Go away. A... Right, I'm just going to leave him be for the time being. An odd flipping rebel leader doesn't really matter. Get a spy heading back down towards here. Okay, taking this wouldn't be a bad idea. Let's just start sweeping up the poles going in this direction, especially now that we know the Mongols appear to be heading south. At this point, north of them, they've just got two rebel settlements they've already sacked, so the chance of them now turning around and heading north is now extremely low. So we're probably safe to head over here and take... Ah, this is the one that's actually relatively heavily fortified. Maybe don't bother with that then. Over here, we've got Kiev, minor city, basically unguarded. The forces of Lazani II could head down there, serve, potentially. Oh yeah, Einstein Kilsen's heading home. Okay, fine, he's no longer heading home. Now he's just heading Honor to Lasagna to, serve, to pick up some troops, damn it. Uh, while well, you're actually standing exactly where you are, bloody convenient. Drop a watchtower, thank you very much. Yeah, I'd say Kiev, nice, simple, soft target to start off with, and then swing over here towards... Well, Yassi gives me a big land border... With the Hungarians, doesn't it? Yes. Now, we already have a land board with the Hungarians. That's fine. I want to make friends with Hungary. That's okay. Then we've got another fortress over here that seems very badly guarded. Yeah, this is where things are soft. Right here. So what I ought to do is... Over in Lasagna, start training some troops. Let's get some troops training. We've already got a guy here. Good old Edmund Thodberg. Train up some new guys here. Get these guys heading south. Looks like he's a bit lacking in actual heavy infantry. So, two units of Norse swordsmen, handful of extra scouts. That'll probably do the job. Those guys, yeah, their job is to go down to Kiev, clear that out. The forces over at Thorn, I think, should head to Vilnius instead. They should head to Vilnius. Yeah, if you're going to Kiev, then do the forces of Lasagna II really want to... <laughs> if you're heading off in this direction, okay, Bolsor the Merciless, I was just going to let you manage Moscow, but now we've got more important things for you to do. Moscow, meanwhile, you know what, don't build anything, just focus on army building for the time being. Lasagna the second needs some more retraining yet, retrain and doing some more retraining there, lovely. We've got plenty of archers, but not much in the way of heavy infantry, maybe just a handful more Viking raiders there. Uh, you, actually... You're basically fine, aren't you? Let's just get some more horses in production this day, we're a bit lacking in... Actually, we've got okay for horses. But some extra scouts wouldn't hurt. Yeah, as we can't actually train any more heavy infantry, unfortunately. That'll do for the time being. Bolsor the Mustard picks those up. I'll make my decision whether or not to head over to that castle. Maybe we'll just siege out that castle. It'll be fine. Or... Actually, the Russians are building up a little bit of a force there, which is a bit on the annoying side. That's fine. If I just get enough watchtowers up, I'll see them coming with so much time. By the time they'd actually be able to walk to me, I could just train a new force at Lasagna the second. So I don't have to worry about the Russians at this point anymore. You go over to Lasagna, pick those up, Kiev. 
Yeah, the main force at Thorn can just train new staff. Uh, Hamburg is apparently unhappy. Okay, fine. You can have a large stone wall. I guess you deserve it. You have been in the Empire for quite a long time. Plus, I think you make a fair bit of money. So a warehouse wouldn't hurt you at all. Now, how much can we actually train here? Ooh, probably not. Actually, you know what? Enough. Because, yeah, even at the fairly low tiers, the Danes have a really, really strong, decent army they can use. So that's absolutely fine. Let's get you guys... Do you need a drill score? What can you produce? Actually, you know, I think you can produce enough. <laughs> I think that's enough, quite frankly. That's absolutely 100% fine. Hmm. Let's get some more. Here we've got... Does anyone actually have a... Okay, you've got Norse archers. That's good. Magdeburg's got more stuff, which is welcome. Yeah, because you've actually got a practice range and a drill square. That's nice. Probably, therefore, if I wanted to have... Thorn. Thorn can train. Yeah, Thorn's actually got those guys. Good. Thorn's actually got all the good stuff. So Thorn don't need to worry about. Actually, yeah, I can just train a new army at Thorn. Don't need to worry too much about Stettin. Right. Yeah, Vilnius over in this direction. But problem, Inquisitor in the way. Not a very good Inquisitor. Are any of you guys good on the old piety? Not that good on the old piety. Right, I'm sending a force that doesn't actually have... Yeah, it doesn't have anything. In fact, actually, one of you two guys. You, my good man, you're a skilled bureaucrat. And honestly, we've got enough generals for you in terms of actual fighting. I think we've got a general in all of these territories. You should simply head back over to our house. Actually, start off in Hamburg. Start off in Hamburg. You can head back to our house after that. Because our house has got to be making good money at this point. Uh, how much money is that making? Just over 2,000. Whereas Hamburg is making... Didn't go up to 1,700. Maybe I'll send the skilled bureaucrat back up to our house and he can actually do some good work there. So we've got a spy nearby. We now know, yeah, family member, some fairly solid dismounted nobles together with just a handful of actual Polish nobles. It's always the nobles with you, isn't it? And just some basic woodsmen too. So, basically just need to crack my way in with a handful of, hopefully I've got something. No, I don't, irritatingly. Um... Okay, I'd rather have siege equipment, to be perfectly honest. Do we have... Yeah, okay, fine. I'm just going to make some catapults right now. I'll make some catapults here. A couple of... Do I even need two? I think I don't need two. Maybe I'll make two because then I can just kind of keep one of them here. We can use it against the Polish capital down the line. That's fine because we've got a nice paved road to take it straight down the line there. We've also got ourselves... Ooh, some Norse Axemen. They'll work really nicely against the Polish nobles. Yeah, let's get some of them in production. Beautiful. So they can kick off moving next turn. But yeah, sure, why not? Let's actually just get some basic backup over here. Just a handful of Huskals and some horses. And Magdeburg. Let's get a bit more going on. I also just want kind of a backup army around here in case I ever decide Frankfurt's really vulnerable. Because... Uh, if that Hungarian army moves in, the Imperials are really running out of steam at this point, which I absolutely flipping love. Yeah, a couple of Norse arch- actually, you've already got some Norse archers there. Instead, uh, dismantled our skulls, two units of horse, lovely. Now, what have we actually got left over here? Oh, yes, of course. We probably need some extra troops over here at Iron Bruges. Iron Bruges ought to be defended. So, uh, let's just get some heavy infantry and horse. Over there. That's fine. Let's just get some stuff in there. And Metz needs... Uh, Metz could do with something. What are you doing right now? You're building a... That's just a ship process. Okay, you can do without that for the time being. We need to prioritise getting troops out all of a sudden. Oh, yeah, I really need to get those guys. Can you guys head through that forest? Yes, you can, but there's no way to... If I tell you to go here, what do you do? Okay, you can't get over that river. Fine, there's no way. No, no, stop, stop, stop. Hammer that backspace key. There you go. Now, if I go over to there, what actually are you? And will you attack me if I try and get a handful of these troops through? Because I'm a bit... I kind of want to get some of those through to Iron Bruges. But I don't want to... Actually, I'll put them in the forest. I'll put them in the forest. That'll be fine. Uh, I don't need all of these guys here. Two solid units of heavy spearmen here. Together with... Actually, you know what? The spear militia can go too. Because they could do some retraining. Because you're not going to do any good here whatsoever. Yeah, that's fine enough for the time being. You go over here and hide in the forest. There we go. Now, hopefully, the French wouldn't be able to find you anyway. Uh, train here. Do I need some? I've got some horses. Yeah, just some more heavy infantry here as well. Let's get the heavy infantry here. That's fine. We've got, we've got some skilled peasant archers with some experience. That's nice. That should be enough to hold out here. Ah, but I could do with bloody training something here as well. If I cancel one of you, can I build anything? 
Another tanner, small chapel. Do you need a small chapel? You've got some heresy, fine. Have a small bloody chapel, I suppose. That'll keep the Pope happy. Right, that's all my money gone. And over here, yeah, potentially this Egyptian force might be... Actually, you know what? Though it's got a lot of units, from the amount that the banners filled up, it's clearly taken a few knocks. I don't think they could take Aleppo if they wanted to. I think the walls and the troops inside would be able to handle that. Got to be careful with Antioch here. It's... Yeah, it's okay for the time being. It'll... It'll hold. Prince... Oh my goodness, Steve! Oh, you're looking a bit old, my good man. Time has not been kind to you. How flipping old are you now? Oh, you're only flipping six years younger than King Charles the Crusader. I didn't really realise that. Okay. Probably King Charles the Crusader ought to head north. Because Steve Stenger, albeit, oh, poor ragged Steve Stenger. He needs to say, he used to have such lovely flowing chestnut locks. Look at him now. Oh, time is a harsh mistress. He needs to stay here to get this place growing to 9,000 as quickly as possible so we can have another citadel right here. That means, I think, you need to head north as quick as you can. So if you go to about here... Then next turn, you should be able to make it over there. And I think any force in here wouldn't be able to make it round to you. So you should be 100% safe there, even without an escort. Jerusalem seems fine for the time being. We could retrain. No, we couldn't retrain those because that only can be retrained during an actual crusade. That's fine. Alexandra is still working on its Docklands. Cairo we're ignoring because Cairo is Cairo. So Cairo gets bloody ignored. Lovely. Anyway, we could make a ton of bit more money. Uh, have we already done a... Some merchant sniping in the... No, we haven't! Good, good, good. Look, I know you're my ally, but sorry, I kind of need the money at this point. Um, so, you to there, you to there. That only got me like 500, because it wasn't a very good merchant. The better the merchant you snipe off, the more money you make, by the way. You've probably noticed that already, I just didn't mention it. So, like, crappy basic merchants are 500 to go. Mid-tier merchants are like 1,000. You can get, like, I'm not sure what the highest amount is. I think it doesn't go above 1,500, but I may be wrong there. So... You need to... Yeah, you need to... Ooh. Is there a path you can go to? Oh, dear. I didn't realise that there was an actual ford in the river there. So there's nothing to stop the French actually just going around here. And then around... Ooh, I really hope the French aren't smart enough to do that. Because they could just do that. Right, reinforcements. Get around to Marseille. Quick as you like. Uh, any more retraining we can do. Tiny amount, nothing major. The warehouse is already in production. Do we need more... Can't train any more sword stuff. Let's get one more crossbow militia in there. And do I need another... No, I've got enough spies. I've got spies all over the shop right now. I feel like we're okay on the spy front. But yeah, admittedly, if I could just fight off this group, then this force and this force and this force and some stuff I could send over from Corsica, I feel like potentially we might be in a position to take to lose. And then we will have... Is that a fortress? Yeah, it's a fortress. Then we'd have a nice, strong fortress in the south of France. Now, that would pretty much cut France off from its acquisitions in, yeah, in Spain. Then we could just basically march in here and take Zaragoza and then Valencia. Valencia would make a nice kind of backstop at the bottom of the empire because that's a castle. So the Moors can't really do anything to that. The Spanish are too feeble to do anything full stop. The Portuguese might be problems because the Portuguese are just mental. So they'd probably attack me. But still, could work. Could flipping work. I think that's all I can do this turn, however. So I've kind of spent all the money at this point. Prague could potentially do us some upgrades, but sorry, we're spending all the money on, you know, actual troops on this occasion. So I'm kind of just trashing the economy. But that's fine. It's all under control. I know what I'm doing. I've got a bloody plan. Ah, uh, yeah, sorry. I forgot I told my assassin to go and kill the other assassin. So he should go down nice and quick. Yep, lovely. So that's one dead French assassin. Good, good, good. Now, France. Are they going to want? No, they're not even begging for peace yet. They don't need peace that badly. Now, are the French going to attack me on the bridge? If they are, I'm pretty confident we can hold them. But, yeah, there's one there. And what are you planning to do? More assassins? Okay. Oh, you plan to assassinate my assassin? Are you? No, not yet. Okay, fine. There's a lot of French assassins. That guy's heading... Uh-oh. No, don't. Don't. How did you know he was there? Okay, that's not good. That is a small force. I just wanted to sneak north through the woods, damn it. Um, what even is this? This is... No, that can't win. I mean, if nothing else, there's literally nothing here that could take out this Matterfield Knight. And they've got the firepower and we don't. We just need to back off. 
Back off as far as possible, please. Uh, yeah, just back to mats. That's really annoying. We'll just have to wait for a better opportunity to sneak those guys out through French territory. I mean, I could sneak them up through German territory, but it's a bit close to Frankfurt. I don't really want to provoke the Imperials right now. It strikes me as a bad idea. If nothing else, I'm kind of interested in what the English do next, because I've kind of drawn a lot of French attention south. So, all of a sudden, you'll notice that the French towns, fortresses, even their capital, suddenly looks very, very unguarded. And the English have this massive great army right here. Like, if England were looking for a moment to backstab France and get the war back on, this would be a really good opportunity for them. But sadly, I don't think the air is quite clever enough for that. Yeah, okay, fine. We've got people coming through the mountains as we should have expected. Oh, I forgot about that. I need to train troops to deal with that. Like, pretty urgently, in fact. Imperials, ooh, the Imperials just begging Hungary for peace at this point. They know they're on the ropes. Don't accept, Hungary. Don't accept. Hold out. You can win this. It's taken you flipping decades, maybe centuries, but you can finally get Nuremberg. I believe in you. Imperials throwing everything together into one sort of okay-ish army, but look at that. It's... It's pretty bloody flimsy. More reinforcements coming in as quick as they can. I think I just saw for a second there the Spanish. Yep, the Spanish up there heading up towards the English territory because I don't know. <laughs> the Spanish were like, you know, they just had a quick meeting with the Portuguese. Like, hey, we're not doing very well. The Portuguese like, oh, no, no. To be successful, you just need to be mad. And the Spanish, all right, fine. We'll try being mad. Do you have any clues? How about sending all your troops repeatedly to Northern Europe for no well-explained reason? That does sound like a stupid idea. We'll do it. Moorish Navy still just doing exercises here. Nothing major from them. They do actually have some troops on Corsica right now, but I don't see any sign of them moving in. They don't seem that interested. In all fairness, it's a small weak force. I'm not sure I could pull it off anyway. I wouldn't be surprised to see them pulled out at some point. So, there's our first sign of the Turks. We haven't really seen much from them in terms of, like, you know, actually close by to us. But now they're getting a little bit closer. That force is just heading towards Damascus, fine. So basically, the Egyptians just retreat to Damascus and they're just going to cower there for a bit. Unsurprising, really. No, guys. England. Seriously. Serious. Okay, I wanted to be friends. I Our wanted to be friends. Okay, I wanted to be friends with England so, so much. But if this is what they want, then I guess we're just going to have to murder them. Along with literally everyone else. The entire world hates Denmark so very, very much, we'll just have to murder literally everyone. Right, now hungry, hungry, hungry. Come on, advance, advance, advance. Do this. Do it. Yeah, that's right. Take out that crappy army and then keep moving in. They've been forced back. Now you can just destroy them. Defeated. Lovely. And nope, even more defeated, in fact. They fall back to Nuremberg. Beautiful. Keep pushing in, damn it. At this point, yeah, if you can just win that one battle, there's nothing in your way. Nothing. And the Mongols are heading, yep, they're very much now, they're on the road, they're following it south. At this point, having met it with the road, uh, they're pretty much just going to follow the roads to cities that they're going to burn down. So that's going to be Mosul gone. Mosul's a fortress with a decent number of troops in it, however, so hopefully they will at least take some losses. And we've got, oh, that was the assassination that went successfully against the other assassin. Speaking of which, who are you? Oh, you're not very good. Well, that's fine. You're going to die right now then. Bye. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to assume that's successful. Yeah, there we are. More French assassins going down. Okay. So, the world just got a little less friendly, unfortunately. At this point, we have... Uh, we've got friends in the form of the Venetians. And the Venetians actually like us. And they're also busy with their war down here. So, they have no particular reason to backstab us. So, hopefully, that's under control in that regard. But other than that, we're at war with pretty much everyone. <laughs> Diplomacy is not looking great. But in all fairness, we are like the biggest, toughest empire in the world, so it's fine. Maybe if we start like wiping some of these people out, then that would look better, because then we'll be at war with less people. We are still friends with the Pope, well, not really. The Pope's not... Actually, the Pope's got a bit more happy with us, which is nice. But uh, yeah, we're still a bit friends with the Pope. And Venice is good. Other than that, not so hot. Which means, sadly, this probably isn't a good time to start a war with the Imperials, as much as I'd like to. Because, yeah, we've probably got enough wars on right now. What even are you, by the way? You're... Ah, you're just sending a small number of pretty elite troops. Okay, I understand what you're doing now. Which is, yeah, okay, it doesn't look like much, but it can probably be a lot tougher than I'd expect. You, Captain... Ooh. Okay, that's actually... Okay, I'm now really glad that Bruges was promoted to Iron Bruges. Otherwise, we'd be in trouble right now. Yes. 
because that's quite a big force and it can batter down some walls. Well, let's just see what the bloody hell's going on here. Papal State so so. Honestly, it's better than I expected. England have attacked Denmark. Uh, you are a cruel leader, blimey. Okay, the faction is now probably down to pretty much neutral chivalry, which is weird for someone who's been in a campaign, but whatever. Lots of good stuff. Oh, Garza Citadel is done. Oh, Garza Citadel. Nice. Uh, anything else we've got here? Something about Besiege, Iron Bruges, we know about that. Mean leader, yeah, he went up to mean leader and then up to cruel leader because the assassins just keep killing people, but that's fine. Okay. We need to clear out the English, that's the priority. The French haven't attacked us yet, we don't really know what they're planning next. There's a big Be French gone. force right you here. My liege. Oh dear. How am I going to get these guys home? Or rather, how am I going to get these guys out of Metz? Because, yeah, probably I didn't really think about with Metz. Like, I've basically got no way of actually controlling the road between Metz and my other territories. Like, sure, they technically have a land border, but the land border is entirely covered by a flipping river, and there's no kind of crossing point there. So, I think I'm just going to have to take a town of France. Yeah. If I was to take a town right here, that would work. Now, I've probably got the troops between Metz and Iron Bruges to do that, but first need to clear out the English. Before we do that, however, Gaza, 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 Gaza. Citadel! Lovely! I can put ballista towers on this thing. Make the wall defences even more ludicrous. Baron stables. Armoury. Ooh, 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 Hello, you sexy, sexy bastards. These guys probably look a little bit underwhelming, to be honest, for like, you know, the final tier of elite super infantry. You could only train to Citadel and an armoury, which is also really, really expensive. But yeah, it's nice to have some armoured spear walls that are effective against armour. Basically, you know, the equivalent of the spear staff militia, but obviously an actual troop rather than militia. They're pretty good, actually. They are actually pretty darn nice. We won't rush them, however. I need to actually remind myself here. Let's go over to the building browser. Over at the Citadel, what's the best thing we can actually do at this point? Marksman's range gets me, ah, mounted crossbowmen. Okay, that's kind of fun. But as you can see there, honestly, they're not actually that powerful. Melee attack 7, belly charge bonus on them, missile attack only 5. Like, they're good harassing troops, but I'm not really sure they're worth the investment. Upgrade the stables to the max, I eventually get these here chivalric knights, who are... Okay, they're fine, but if you kind of consider... Uh, I guess it is a pretty big step up in the charge off the feudal knights, and the husk guards don't really have that much of a charge at all. Yeah, it might be worth it, but then again, cavalry is going to do relatively little against the actual forces of the Mongols who are heading in our direction. We're probably better off actually just focusing on arming up the existing troops. Getting a heavy armour in production I'd say is actually a good idea. They're lovely. And yeah, indeed these forces are just heading down to Damascus. That's fine. You can make it to, yes you can indeed make it to Antioch. And next turn you can just lay some watchtowers around. That'll be beautiful. Aleppo's looking good. Yeah. I think we're under control for the time being. Uh, Acre, do you need anything right now? No, I think you're all right for the time being. You're just... Oh, look at that. That's just jumping up. That's beautiful. That'll be in, like... I think in two turns. <laughs> in two or three turns, that'll be ready to become a citadel. And that's just gorgeous. So go on. As we're waiting three turns anyway, communal farming. Let's make a bit more money there. Now, speaking of money, I'm pretty sure I saw a... Yep, that was a Venetian merchant. Three out of ten. So that will be worth a little bit of money there. Very, very nice indeed. Just keep sniping off those bastards. Now, other problems we have to deal with before we spend all the money. We've got some French people. That's a fairly large army. And I think it's heading straight at Marseille. Unsurprisingly, it wants to take it back. Now, Marseille, we can defend. We've got some nice sword staff militia, a couple of backup units of spear militia, and a load of well-armoured crossbow militia. Missile attack 9 effective against armour. This force, however, is... Let's just get my spy over here for a second. There we go. We'll move him back in a second. Yeah. Okay, this is being padded out by town militia and spear militia. This sort of force cannot really take a city particularly effectively. They just get torn apart too much, but just a handful of proper heavy infantry. But just in case... I feel like we could do with some extra... Oh, and uh, proof there, by the way. Norse war clerics are not allowed to counter militia troops. That is a shame. Yeah, the problem we've got here is these cities, we can't really train much in the way of proper heavy infantry. So, uh, what I think we probably need is to bring a handful of it back home here. I think, yeah. If we were to bring... One unit of Viking raiders. 
One unit of nearly topped up. Actually, no, not full strength oh, peasant archers. Key. One unit of dismounted husk yes. girls. Let's get these guys home and into Genoa. Let's just get a little bit more going on there and you back here, please. That's still plenty over here at Corsica. Retrain these guys as well, please. Let's just get them back up to full strength. That's fine. That's enough power here for the time being. This French force here, I don't think is going to do that well. This force here, I'm more concerned about if they just follow the road around towards Marseille. But I have time to train up forces at Marseille. We're going to have plenty of good, strong forces here. Those sword staff militia, they will do the job, especially in cities where they can kind of gather around the gate and have people just kind of shepherded right into their lovely little spear wall. They will do good enough work. But I tell you what, it wouldn't hurt to have an abbey, because an abbey would give me the war clerics. That might be fun. That might be worth thinking about. Yeah, okay, fine. Also, what can you hire around here? Hmm, some Frankish knights. Probably wouldn't hurt to have some proper cavalry. Do you even have any cavalry at all over there right now? Yeah, you've got one damaged unit. Which isn't great. I will... These are really expensive, but... Alright, you know what? It's fine. Just don't worry about money for the time being. Let's just get you back to here. In fact, actually, do you have... Actually, you haven't got any proper heavy charging cavalry at all, do you? No. Okay. I'm going to bring this guy up to here. I'm going to send this guy back home. I'd rather have the slightly better but limited number of cavalry. So I've got some charging cavalry up there. But now we've got some proper cavalry back here to help out with Marseille. Genoa now has some proper heavy infantry to assist. And these guys could probably do with training a little bit more on the sword staff and crossbows. Just on the off chance they need it. That should be enough. But I kind of want to watch where these guys go. I suspect they're just going to go around the coast. If so, possibly I'll train some more troops at Corsica and send them over to Marseille to reinforce. But that should be fine for the time being. The English are a concern. The English are a real concern because I suspect the English are well kind of, uh, yeah, well locked in here. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to train a new spy. I'm going to train a spy and I'm going to send a spy over to England. So I want to keep an eye on how big and successful all their cities are because... Would you believe the English have basically just provoked Denmark? And when Denmark decides it doesn't like England, then the longboats get brought out of retirement. All right, England. Let's have Luxio over here. Yep. Dublin still belongs to the Scottish, but Inverness still rebel. Fine. I should go and have a chat, actually. Yeah, that's a really good point. I'm just going to send over a diplomat, I think. A diplomat who's just going to go and have a nice little chat with the Scottish about maybe wanting to be friends. Though actually I think the Scottish are allied with the French. So that means they probably don't want to be friends. But we'll see. We'll see if maybe I can get the Scottish on side and the Scottish and the Danish can join forces against the bastard English. We'll see what we can do to maybe keep them out of their territories. Like I feel like, you know, they've got some strength around here. London's heavily fortified, but possibly York might be a nice, easy pick off. Or if I was to take Nottingham, as a fortress, just kind of sweep in by sea, take it over. Yeah, okay, take one of their primary production facilities of actual kind of proper army troops on the actual British mainland. That could work. Still, don't worry about that for now. For the moment at least, let's just see if we've got enough force here to kick out these guys in a sally battle. Because these guys are... Interesting. Okay, so these guys are tough, but they've got literally zero indirect fire. And the only mobility they've got is one unit of mailed knights. So I suspect with my crossbowmen, I can actually do a fair amount of damage to these guys. And also, once we take out the mailed knights, my guys can basically just charge in over and over. We can just do the charges. Yeah, I think actually this should work pretty bloody nicely. We can do a lot of damage to them anyway. Or we could just wait for them to... No, I don't want to wait for them to come. Because these guys up on the walls can probably one-on-one -on -one defeat my forces. If they... Oh, but they only have one ram though. But one ram means they'll have to fight on the city streets. Yeah, I think we're safer actually going outside. Because then my mercenary crossbowmen can do really, really good work. So I'm glad you're here, my good man. Let's go do this. And we need to just get rid of them right now because I need to train troops there immediately. Okay, let's just quickly get everyone outside here. Because they're moving forward, but not too much. Bear in mind, yeah, they've got literally no indirect fire. And they have only one unit of cavalry. 
So let's just turn to skirmish mode and fire at will off for you guys, please. Just get you guys around the back. Nothing's moving forward, is it? No, that's absolutely fine. Let's also just get my guy... Yeah, my general over on this side. Nice enough to one side. My scout's a little bit more kind of shielded behind the spear militia. So all of you guys just get into position as well, please. We are not using the towers to our advantage on this occasion. If I need to, I can just send the scouts back to reactivate the towers. But I don't think we need to. I think we can do... I don't know if we can win. We can certainly do a lot of damage. We can basically just clear out the bolts for our crossbow mercenary guys. And that is good enough. Right. I'm pretty happy with... Yeah, I'm happy enough with that position at this point. So, let's just move these lads forward a little bit here. And let's just see what happens. If we get any response out of them, just prepare to pause immediately. But I think we are... Okay. No movement yet. Keep pushing forward a little bit. And soon we should start being in range. Okay. So we're already in range of some of their troops. There's a little bit of movement there, but nothing too major. What I would like is potentially to, if I could say, pin, say, the Dismounted Funeral Knights with the Scouts and then have my own general basically thunder in at the back. What I need to do to pull that off is... So at this range, hmm, I might be able to pull the cavalry forward by exposing my lads here. So if I just send my lads to the front, let's just send these guys running to the front right now and we'll probably see a response from their cavalry. Okay, let's see if we get any movement. Not yet, but I find it very likely we will. So now I'm in range of everything in their army. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to fire at their knights. I want their knights out of the way. Because, yeah, without their knights, my own cavalry is unopposed on the field. So this might potentially take, like, two Sally battles, but I think it'll be worth it. So let's just go into arrow cam here, because arrow cam is literally the best thing. Everyone prepare your crossbows. And lovely. Doing a bunch of good damage to them. More coming in. Oh, yeah, look at that. Falling very, very quickly now. So that goes straight down to 67 and also presumably hits a couple of these guys as the bolts go past. These guys are now running forward because they vaguely want to counterattack. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to just bring my guys uh, back immediately. Guys, seriously. Guys, faster. Guys, skirmish. Guys, 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 guys. This happens occasionally and it's very annoying when it does. They just decided they didn't fancy running. Right, okay. You guys have now decided you want to get involved around the outside, do you? Well, that's okay then. Uh, so, you guys, around the back here. I want you guys out of the way, please. They're already taking a bunch of damage. Uh, and now, my guys can basically... We can get around here. And are they backing off? Yeah, I think they're backing off. Fine. Uh, we can now get ourselves a couple of good... Why are you guys even doing that? That was just... Yeah. That was just bad luck, quite frankly. Right, let's just see if I can just get a charge down. The scouts aren't going to be able to do much. Let's just get the scouts on the back and round you. Let's see if we can just encircle one group. If we can just encircle one group, you have not got a good charge in there. Uh, no, some trees kind of got in the way there, but that's fine. Let's just encircle. And might do a little bit of damage. Yeah, you know what? That actually did pretty good work. And they're wavering. Dismounted Feudal Knights wavering really well. Actually, I think you might have just got a charge at the end there. And they're broken. Good, 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 good. Right, you, back, you, back. Uh, okay, now this time, this time, guys, we need to have a word. This time, don't be cocking stupid. So, damage done to them. 3% to me, 22% to them at this point. Their infantry vaguely is coming forward because they want to still kind of get involved. I'm going to move my guys over here and my scouts over here. If they want to charge, they're welcome to do so. I'm just going to hit them in the back with cavalry. No one likes being hit in the back with cavalry. So, these guys are coming in. Dismounted Huskars are going to pin them. You are going to work around the outside over here. You're trying to get around the back of you, but it's going to be too late. And you're going to get around the back of you. I'm just going to get my scouts out of the way here. Yeah, my scouts are going to be fast enough that this isn't going to work. Those guys are going to be steady, but they're about to be hit in the back. Which it will shake them, but not too bad. Now I'm going to get my scouts out of here. I'm just going to keep my scouts out of the way. Now we've got some nice lancers down over here into the side of these guys. They're shaken. 
And they're broken. Good. So now I'm just going to get my scouts out of the way. Because, yeah. If their king's trying to follow my scouts, my scouts can easily outrun their king. And it's not a king. It's not even a general. It's just some male knights. And they're also shaken, by the way. Hey, shoot them in the back while they're going, incidentally. Lovely. Those guys are broken. And now, how are you doing? You are badly damaged. Let's just get my scouts out of the way here. And at this point, it's all starting to fall apart for them. Beautiful, in fact. Lovely. You over here. You, no, come back. Don't pursue any further, please. These Huskars are taking a bit of damage, but it's fine. Uh, now, what's actually left? What's actually left is you guys running forward. They're running out of steam very, very rapidly at this point. We've taken out most of what they've got. This has gone pretty smoothly. That is what I was hoping for, in fact. Armored Swordsman, 64. Heavy Infantry over here, 53. That's 48. And that's, yeah, and there's only... There's another one in there. Oh, yeah, that's just Spear Militia. That's fine. So now, basically, they're going to charge forward because they've just seen that I have got my crossbowmen up front again because they can't resist going for that. So, basically, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to say, screw it. And now I'm just going to move these guys back and hopefully they're going to actually follow my orders this time. No, they're going to refuse again because they're stupid. Fine. Mercenary Spearmen up here. You to here. You, how are you doing against these guys? They're wavering. Screw it, stay away from the spear militia, just get into the back of these lads. And now, Meld Knights are... They're broken. You're steady, but not if you get hit in the back, even by inferior troops. I suspect you won't be for much longer. Now, you guys around here. Yep, they're trying to pull out at this point. You need to get over here and finish off these guys. I want these scouts out of there, please. And the enemy king has gone down. Beautiful. Not king. Not... I just like saying the enemy king has gone down. Not even a general, he's just some guy. Right, my guy at this point is under control. Just get my guys back, I want to get a good charge here. They'll probably decide to retreat at some point. Actually, you know what? I'm going to send my scouts to go and run down the Meld Knights. If we're lucky, he'll be able to catch them before they break. Actually, they'll probably recover first. Uh, so, as we've got you guys, let's just get a bit more distance over here with the General's Bodyguard. And then afterwards, Armoured Swordsman at 64... A nice big cavalry charge into them. We'll do... Yeah, you know what? They recovered already. That's fine. Armoured Swordsman 53 already flipping uh, shaken. So, Lance is down. In we go, lads. Straight into the side of them. That'll do a load of good damage. And straight into the back of you as well. So, that's one broken. That's going to be... And that's another broken. That's completely broken. That's the whole thing gone. Right. Let's just get out of there because there's now uh, the male knights here. I don't really want to bother fighting the male knights. And now, just basically head forward until we've actually got a shot at the, the male knights here. And male knights are wavering already. Lovely. You know what? Charge them. Screw it. At this point, they're wavering. I'm pretty sure we got this. Don't bother firing. You'll just hit our own guys. So, Lance is down. And also encircled, please. Um, scouts. You're supposed to be over here helping out with the mailed knights, please. Get over here and help out with the mailed knights. There we are. They're broken. And now the scouts can run them down. And the king can run down the infantry. And that should be about your lot. Pretty clean and smooth, in fact, actually. I'm pretty happy with how that went. In comes the final big charge. This should be the end of it. They're charging at the scouts. But they've got spears coming at the back of them. And that will do some very, very nasty bad things to them. Job done. Continue the battle. Round them up. I don't want them coming back later, please. Right, that should be the last couple going down over there then. The enemy are utterly vanquished. This is a great victory worthy of only the mightiest of generals. Ooh, did you just give me the special extra? Ooh, heroic victory. Okay, well done, Sven of Milton Keynes. And we've got some enemies captured. When I sell them back. Oh, you know what? Sven of Milton Keynes is a nice guy. We'll ransom them. They've accepted it. I'll take the money. Fine. So a few people get away there. Relations West. I just let your guys go, albeit for money. Uh, trait increased. Cruel and cunning. And we successfully acquired that bloke. Fine. So Iron Bruges is now in good shape. We've got a handful of battered guys, but nothing too bad, really. Probably what I ought to do is... I'll fix you. And I'll fix... Uh, I'm better off just buying more troops, really, aren't I? Yeah, I'll buy some more troops. Let's get some feudal knights in production together with some heavy infantry. That's fine. Peasant twerp, meanwhile, is looking... Okay, that's already producing the spies and the diplomats. So we can head over to England see what's going on over there. These guys are just stuck here, but that's fine. Metz is pretty hard to crack at this exact moment in time. 
You guys, I could have you get some. You don't have a mustering hall yet. <laughs> Beautiful. Don't even have a mustering hall. Uh, right, we probably need some archers. Let's just get a bow thing in production right now. That'll be absolutely fine. Get that in production. Peasant's twerp can wait. Yeah, that's good enough for the time being. I'm going to say good enough for the time being. It's not great, is it? No, but it'll have to bloody do. Right, you, keep on your way like we've discussed. Yes. Next up, troops need to start moving. Bolslaw the Merciless, join up with Lasagna the Second. Can't believe we're out of money already. That's really annoying. Um, You, do you need to go back to Lasagna? Or probably, no, the troops of Lasagna probably just need to head down and join up with you. So, troops of... I could have done that last turn, actually. I should have thought of that. Never mind. So, troops of Lasagna. Bring out... You know what? Bring out most of it. Bring out flipping most of it. We don't need the leader here. He can stay there. But all these forces, you can join up with them in case you get, like, a movement bonus or whatever. Kiev doesn't seem to be responding yet. By the time they realise what's going on, it'll be too late. And then we'll get, yeah, another nice territory with a nice port here. Do I really want Bolslaw Herman to head down the Russians or the Poles? I wouldn't mind just wiping the Poles out of this bit of the world, to be honest. Like, at this point, yeah, with so much rebel down here, there's nothing coming from the south. So we're better off just clearing out the Poles and then after that moving up to moving up to the Russians after that point. Yeah, you know what, I'm happy with that. So this is actually, you know what, this is plenty, plenty of strength here. Let's get going and also just lay some flipping watchtowers while we're heading off in that direction too. But yeah, if there are actual proper walls and decent army there, I'm actually going to take a uh, one unit of uh, Ballista with me. Which will slow me down, but I think it's still for the better. Right, proper healthy amount of heavy infantry. Absolutely. Proper amount of archers. Sure. Take some spearmen and some backup cavalry. And do not forget the peasants. These are these are the same peasants that took Peasant's Twerp, after which Peasant's Twerp is named. And I don't even have the money for a bloody watchtower right now, spot on. We may need to maybe buy some reinforcements or alternatively wait these guys out a little bit, but we'll have to see about that. Maybe, just maybe. Yeah, let's just send a tiny bit more with them just in case. Just a little bit more. Sure. I mean, yes. Lasagna the second doesn't need much right now. We know the Russians aren't anywhere nearby. And if we see them coming, we can simply just train a new army. Because you can train armies really fast in this game. So, next up at Thorn, we need to put together a new army here. Lovely. I'd say we have got plenty of troops to do that with. Not a huge amount of heavy infantry, to be perfectly honest. We're a little bit lacking on the heavy infantry front. But we do have some. We've got plenty of indirect fire. So send along four yes. units of that as well. We've got good quality cavalry. And don't forget to send along some catapults. Yeah, a couple of catapults would be very, very useful indeed for taking out Vilnius. Mercenary crossbowmen, the good quality knights, just a handful of scouts as well. That should be more than enough to do the job. And do not send a general. We don't want a general, because of course a general would potentially just get sniped off by this here Inquisitor. And I think there's another Inquisitor hidden somewhere around here as well. So generally that would be a bad thing. So at this point, I wouldn't be surprised to see a move from one of the Polish armies guarding their capital, because Thorn is suddenly a little bit precarious. But I think, yeah, coming turns, we can take ourselves Vilnius, whatever that city was. I can't even bloody remember. Was it Sar... Yeah, Sarkel. Sarkel, Vilnius, and down here, Kiev, can all fall to us. And after that point, the Poles are really on the bloody ropes. Meanwhile, reinforcing here. We don't really want a war with England yet. I just need to scout out what's going on. I'm more worried about the potential war with France. Yeah, I think that's all we've got for the time being. We're kind of running out of money here. We've spent a lot of money on troops, so we need to start getting some returns from those troops before we can really do much more in the way of big investments. Or alternatively, we just need to find another massive French city to sack. That would work too, but sadly there's not many big options. Actually, you know what? Right here. Right here I've got good feelings about, damn it. I think that we could potentially do good things there. But actually, irritatingly, I don't actually have... I think we've got anywhere around here that can actually train a single bit of artillery. No, all of these places don't have artillery production facilities. And bringing artillery from Hamburg or our house would be very slow. I might just need to actually train next at Metz just a basic ballista maker. Just so I can literally get some ballista coming in. Actually, or Antwerp. Antwerp's not doing anything useful right now. Yeah, actually. 
Does anyone have anything they're doing right now they could afford to not do? So that Antwerp could have... Uh, you're almost done with that. Okay, hang on. Some of you I think I gave useless stuff to. Oh, you're all almost done with loads of stuff. Okay, fine. There's a bunch of good farming upgrades and whatever coming through. We'll do that next turn, damn it. Ah, and don't forget I've got a spy heading over in that direction to keep an eye on all of the Turkish settlements. Lovely. Move him into a better position next turn as well. That's good. So, France. This is the big one. Might be about to attack me on the bridge. In theory, merged into one big army. Planning to attack. Oh, no. Not yet. More flipping assassins coming down. That's fine. You just keep sending the baby assassins. I'll keep murdering them. That's okay. And yeah. The English. What are the English going to do? Like, I really hope that big army's not heading towards Iron Bruges. Because that could be difficult, actually. I don't think we can sally against that one. Because the English, when the English show up, they bring a lot of bowmen. So just heading out to the city and just basically skirmishing with crossbows and horses doesn't work so well. I mean, if you've got enough cavalry, you can do it. But it's generally a big commitment. We've got flipping more French coming from different angles too. They're actually being very clever. They're moving around. They're kind of going through all the different kind of hills and whatever. And that one's going around there. You're going to... Ooh. Please tell me you're about to attack me. No! Come on! Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Because then it's still a bridge battle. It's still a bridge battle. Okay, and this guy has backed off this way. Fine. I think what the French are planning to do is a massive great bridge battle. The same as we've seen... Before, like the way the Polish did, they're just going to basically muster all their troops together and only once they've got some massive armies are they going to dare do a bridge battle. But if they're going to do that, that works for me because the bridge battle basically will level the playing field in my favour. So I think pretty happy with that, in fact. Yes. Now the Imperials, what are they going to do? Are they going to desperately try and bring more... Ooh, hello. What are you doing over there? You can't get that way anyway. There's a rebel army in the way. And there's... Ooh, was that a heroic... Battle I just saw on the battle map there. They got added in. I do hope so. Here comes a Spanish princess. And in come the Venetians. Hopefully they don't want anything. Please just be friends. <laughs> Me and them have got good relationships, damn it. Alright, let's just keep it that way. Nothing at all from the Russians. At this point, they're quietening down. Honestly, they're probably going to start like Spain doing very, very little. I doubt we'll see them again. They're not a high priority at this point. Nope. That big English army does indeed want to come over to Iron Bruges. So that, that's a real concern. Like, okay, from how full the banner is, I know it's not like full strength. It's definitely not perfect. I'm really glad now we sallied out and took out those other guys and that we trained as many troops as we could over Iron Bruges now. But I am concerned. I'm very concerned, in fact. It's possible the troops in Metz need to start running as quick as they can in that direction to try and relieve Iron Bruges. I don't know if we've got enough there to actually take them out. But if they want to... Oh, oh, yes. Oh, yes. The Portuguese are back. And they still hate the English for no well-explained reason. All right, maybe I should just ally with Portugal. You know what? If you can't beat them, join them. Let's just ally with Portugal and just say, screw it, me and you taking on England for no well-explained reason. You hate England for no reason. England hate me for no reason. This seems like a good source of an alliance. Poland probably detecting something's up at Vilnius. But someone abandoning Vilnius too, probably heading down towards Kiev there. That's fine. I imagine Poland at some point soon are going to start begging for peace. Because, yeah, now that it's communicated, then the leash is off me. I can just basically start... Oh, yes. And Hungary's sending assassins against Poland. Come on, go, 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 go. Oh, there's more coming in. The Hungarians never stop. The Hungarian pain train has no brakes. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. What's going on here? What's going on? What's that Inquisitor doing? Because when I'm right-clicking, it's not letting me speed stuff, and that means it affects me. I think he's about to put flipping Sven of Milton Keynes on trial. How? The city's under siege. How did you even get in? Oh, oh no! Sven! Sven of Milton Keynes. I think he just died. Oh, no. Yeah, he totally did. And that's really bloody dickish of you. All right, Papal States, because I needed that guy's heavy cavalry. <laughs> okay. Oh, uh oh. The Mongols are heading back north. Why are the Mongols heading back north? I was happy when they were going south towards Turkey. What are you guys doing? Guys! I don't like this one bit. Keep going south, you bastards! 
And I suspect as soon as the rebel turns over, we might actually get to see uh, Sven of Milton Keynes being tried and put to death. There's a little cutscene for this. It's not the nicest cutscene in the world, but it's there. Luckily, we've got a candidate for adoption, really. So you're actually... Ooh. Yeah, you're actually really good. Hopefully, you're going to show up somewhere useful, right? Uh, in Breslau. That's actually somewhere pretty useful. Good. Uh, right, but executed for heresy. Yeah, unfortunately... Poor Sven of Milton Keynes. You know, I had a plan for him. I wanted him to lead the attack against England, and he was going to take London and rename it Milton Keynes. But now that will never happen because he's been burnt to death. The Inquisition is charged with rooting out heresy wherever it dwells. Such holy work is not for the faint-hearted, for it seems only after sufficient persuasion is applied do the guilty confess their sins. And there are the screams of Sven of Milton Keynes. Burnt for heresy. He just wasn't holy enough. Oh, bless him. I actually didn't think Inquisitors could do that. I thought they were only allowed out on the field. I didn't realise they were allowed to just go up to cities and snipe people inside cities. Uh, I've learned something today. Possibly I knew that, but I'd just forgotten it. And that means... Oh, the French have a cardinal. Oh, I don't want the French having a cardinal. Right, we should have better control of the college by now. Right. Portugal's attacked England. That's good. We've got loads of troops coming in. That's nice. Loads of warehouses, upgrades, and fields. So the money situation should be all right. Oh, Godfred the Handsome. Hello, Godfred the Handsome. Over in Antioch, in fact. Are you actually the, the son of King Charles the Crusader? Presumably you are. Religiously proper. Easily riled, though. Ooh. Apparently that's plus one authority. Okay, fine. Healthy. That's good. Physically flawless, plus one authority, plus four to popularity. Very nice indeed. Uh, lame of loin. Oh, oh dear. Right, never mind. Uh, born conqueror. Can tell a tale. Okay. This guy could have a bright future, potentially. Not one that involves children, potentially, but still. Guard dogs all around. <laughs> Someone may have just told our generals the French sending huge amounts of assassins their way. So as a result, loads of people are picking up guard dogs all of a sudden. That's good. Let's just get this here guy into a bit of a better position if we can. And any chance we can get you into a position where you can see... Yeah, there we are. That's a good position for you. So now you can see two good, important Turkish cities right there. And the Turks probably starting to panic about the Mongol invasion. But yeah, unfortunately, the Mongols seem to be turning away from the Turks. But I don't like... Take Mosul, damn it. Make sure you get Mosul and Baghdad. Though actually, if they're pulled south... That means they're probably going to be pulled over towards me after that point. So it might actually be better if they head north. So if they head for Trebizond next, then yeah, that'll draw them straight down over here to the Turkish heartlands. And if I'm lucky, the border state, the kind of the neutral zone of Adana, means they won't want to cross that because that's already rebels. They have no interest in crushing it. So then they'll just get pulled straight over to the Byzantines instead. That could work for me. And Venice is the most advanced faction. Dear, oh dear, not a good turn for me at all. Right. What are we going to do about all of this? Well, we have all these armies, basically, that we did build. Say, hey, let's go and smash flipping Poland. Won't that be amusing? I feel like probably, actually. That's not the right thing to do at all. Um, so, Tororen of Nordby. Good old Tororen of Nordby. You, I think, need to bring some of those troops instead down over here towards, yeah, you need to basically join up with these troops and bring them down towards the western frontier. Because we have got ourselves a very big amount of potential trouble here. So there we are. So he's actually got himself not a bad little army there, but it's going to take him a few turns to, to get there. Unless, of course, ooh, okay, right. Stick to the plan here. We've got a diplomat. It's a good diplomat too. That's nice. And a good spy as well. Nice. Good diplomat. Good spy. Uh, you come over here. Get those agents in the boat. Get them ashore. And get the boat moving in this direction to hopefully pick up these lads around here. So next in you can pick up those lads. So now we've got ourselves what we need. Let's head over here and we can see... Nottingham, no basically unguarded. A surprise attack taking Nottingham would be useful. Nottingham's right in the centre of England. It's surrounded by city, city. There's another castle over there, but that's just, uh, yeah, that's a castle and probably hasn't been particularly heavily invested. It looks like, yeah, Nottingham's probably their biggest, most, oh, they've got flipping barracks. Take that out. 
then that's good. Well, they've got barracks here as well, but if we could just get a surprise attack in on Nottingham, that'd be worth it. Right, Peasant Antwerp, which we've discussed, Ballista Maker. We're going to need a Ballista if we want to take a French city off them. The French forces are at this point... Hmm. This French be force gone. here. You are not my liege. I think the forces of Metz need to head north as well, like en masse. We might need to just train up... Wait, what? Stauffen's unguarded. Just in theory, just in yes. theory, could we... I could just have Stauffen right now. This is literally pretty much the only force in Europe I'm not currently at war with. Pretty much, it is. How good is that? It's a castle. Barely been upgraded by the looks of things. Barely anything here. If I was to go to war against the Imperials. If I was. Like, some people would say this isn't the time to start a war. Because we're literally at war with... Who are we not at war with right now? Okay. We're not at war. Assuming we're about to go to war with the Empire. We're not at war with Hungary. We're not at war with Venice. We're not at war with the um, Byzantines. We're not at war with the Turks. We're, we're at war kind of by default with the Mongolians. I know it says neutral, but they'll just attack whoever they want, so it doesn't matter. Um, we are at war with the Egyptians. We are at war with the Sicilians. We are at war with the Moors. We're not at war with Spain or Portugal. That's loads of people we're not at war with. That's so many people we're not at war with right now. In return for a castle. Yeah. One castle. Plus, if I took this castle, I'd have a double castle. Which isn't any better, but it's kind of a justification in my own mind for what I'm about to do. Which is probably a stupid idea. Ah, Imperius. Okay, how do I get on with the Imperius? I assume they hate me, by the way. I'm just going to assume they actually hate me. Relations very poor. Reputation mixed. I have trade rights with them. They are allied with the French, and the, they're allied with the Venetians. Who are the Venetians allied with exactly? Okay. If I attack them, I'd probably break my alliance with Venice. So, I don't want to do that, because Venice are pretty much the only friends I've got who genuinely like me. Everyone else who's not at war with me, it's just pretty much, you know, we're not actively at war right now, because we've got more important things to do. We also hate you. And By a chance, um, Hungary. <gasps> Hungary. Alliance. Still very demanding. Sorry, I forgot it was always very demanding. I thought it just was an option. No, it was England where it just wasn't showing up as an option. Okay. What if I... You know what, I can't afford to... Offer them any flipping money right now. I need the money to train yeah, troops. We're in a bit of trouble here. And as we're in that much trouble, do not attack the Imperials, even though this is a really good opportunity to have a castle off them. Fine, I won't. Right, you, my good man, who's handsome but sadly ignorant, you need to basically get a big force heading north right now. In fact, actually, you could. You could just take out. I mean, like, what have France got to respond? Okay, they've got this force here ready to respond. Sadly, if I had, like, any siege equipment with me, I could just take out this city on the way past. But, let's not worry about that. We need to just start. Actually, let's have a look at this army. Have a look. Oh, blimey. Right, that's that's an army right there. But they're probably not going to attack. Let's have a look. See, that's... That's a decent defensive force, but... Okay. The advantage we've got here is... This army is being padded out by a very large amount of catapults and whatever. Once they actually get through the walls, though, what have they got? You're badly damaged, you're badly damaged, you're badly damaged. In terms of actual proper infantry, there's one unit of dismounted feudal knights, a bunch of town militia. Okay, I think I can handle that. I don't dare go out into the field, because if I go out into the field, then all of these bloody bits of artillery will start just bombarding me. So I cannot sally forth. But, okay, I need troops. I just need a large number of troops, and that's exactly what Metz has got. Yeah, we're going. We just have to go right now, and probably to about... Uh, the problem is, oh god, how am I going to get there in time? Because these troops are going to make it to there this turn. I don't think they're going to be able to make it in time. They're going to be late. Okay, peasants twerp. You just need to train... A big amount of... You can train literally nothing but town militia. Well, that's just not useful. Okay. Sven of Milton Keynes is dead. 
unfortunately. This force is going to take a while to get there. This force is never going to make it in time. Unless, of course, the... Yeah, and there's no one that can step outside in order to... Okay, it's just going to have to be town militia then. Right, town militia times three. These guys aren't... It costs 290 to train, for goodness sake. Right, okay. 290 to train. We're just going to send a huge amount of town militia to go and stand next to the British army. Just as reinforcements. Because a small amount of reinforcements just to hold the line while the towers do their work. Town militia... You know, they're useless in assaulting a city. In defending a city, they have a purpose, at least. Speaking of which, I'm sending yeah. the first two over there right now. Mom, so you're what? going over there. Okay, that's absolutely fine. The forces of Mets have no choice. They simply must head north and try and relieve the situation as best they can. If we can beat that force and really properly destroy it on the walls of Iron Bruges, then we have one of... Wait, Iron Bruges is a fortress, isn't it? Iron Bruges is a fortress. Okay. Then this is much more manageable than I thought. The walls may fall, but the second walls, that's where it's going to go right. Because in the second walls, yeah, they won't have any of the towers or anything anymore. But they probably won't be using the towers anyway. They'll probably just be using their, their catapults. Okay, we need to go. We just need to go. Everyone in Mets, pretty much, just leave a small I'll skeleton crew them. here. But broadly, Orders, I'll leave one unit of heavy spearmen here. I'll leave you yes. with, uh, like, one unit yes. of... Yeah, you know what, yes. that's that's it. That's all you get. Sorry, but that's that's all I can actually spare at this exact moment in time. If I go to... Oh, no, I can't. There's an Inquisitor, and he's not a bad one. Okay, I need more flipping assassins around to be nailing these Inquisitors. Right, you just have to stay here, unfortunately. Sorry. Um, so, everyone else, though, is going to come with me. Yeah, okay, just you three are staying. Now, all of you, round to here. Now, the French are probably going to be a bit worried by this situation, but that's fine. I don't actually care about them in the slightest. I need to just train some more troops here. You need a new practice range, to be honest, but you'll do for the time being. Yeah, just give myself a couple of dismounted Huskars, some more archers. Uh, no, just actually some horse as well. Yeah, that's fine. That'll do to hold off any opportunistic attack on Mets. But I'm really sad I can't just take Stalfen, but it's not the right time to start a new war. We've got trouble here. Lots of trouble. The forces are there. You're on your way. The forces that were going to go and reinforce and basically help out with Krakow and are heading over there. This was supposed to be my golden age. Yes. My golden age of screw-flipping Poland. But instead, March. now we're kind of in make trouble, it. actually. Still, on the plus March. side, this force can make it to Vilnius Lord. next turn. This force here needs to... Excuse me. Excuse me. Naff off. Whoever the bloody hell you are, go away. I don't care. Right. Round here. Build myself a watchtower. Does Kiev know what's coming yet? No. I don't think they do. You, meanwhile, are going to go over to... Well, you're going to go to here and drop a... Ooh, there were some flipping rebels there. I'm glad to nice to trigger them. I'm going to put that there. You're going to go down to... Can you make it down to there? Go to here and just head down to here and just slap down some more watchtowers. That's okay. As long as we keep visibility, that's fine. Now we've got good visibility over the whole Russian area. And you can head down over here towards this force. This is a stupid place to attack now, but... Honestly, what else is Bolster or the Mercer's going to do? Like, he's got a bit of a thing for murder. He's just got a thing for murder, and there's only so many people to murder in the world. So, I guess this is what his job is. And down in the south... Ooh, hello. Come and fight me, you coward. We've got a very small French force right here. Now, I don't really want to... I could just use my force to take out that force. Or I could just bring in a handful of reinforcements from the city. It is, after all, just peasants and crossbowmen. Okay. This is just peasants and crossbowmen. Potentially, I might just want to... Okay, I think the problem is, if this guy attacks and moves off the bridge, then because the command zone of this guy extends to here, I think after you kill him, he won't be able to step back on. So if I want to take out this guy, so I don't have this guy behind me... I'm going to need to send yes. reinforcements from the city. So that's fine. Yes, reinforcements Lord. from the city. The he now runs around that way and gets away from and us. Good. So he's no longer behind battle. us. Yes. Uh, do you actually need more... Desire, actually, you do. My you Lord. totally need these Lord. guys. Uh, you, my get in this army. 
You, meanwhile, uh, get back to the... Can you get to the city? Or you can get to the city, potentially. Okay, in which case, can we send you back to the city and you join the army? Okay, we're now up to a flipping... Up to a flipping full-stack army here with a lot of indirect fire, but... Now, if they attack, we've got Sword Staff Militia right at the front. That'll do some good damn work. Lovely. Meanwhile, back here, more Sword Staff Militia. Naturally, let's just have... It wouldn't hurt to have some catapults just ready to go just in case we need them for whatever reason. Genoa, sorry, we can't afford your huge stone wall. I know you've been asking for a while, but you just can't bloody have it, alright? Sorry. Uh, Retrain Peasant Archers for no well-explained reason. We've got some decent troops here. I don't think we need any more there. Militia Drill Square would let me get Sword Staff Militia. I don't really need that. Trebuchet might be nice there, but don't worry about it. Milan might need something more important. Uh, ooh, heavy armour. Very, very nice indeed. No, I think we can pass on that too. If anything, I feel like actually... Yeah, Marseille might actually deserve itself. Can give it some... Yeah, you know what? I'm going to give it Ballista Towers. Marseille can have proper ballista towers just in case. I feel like the French aren't going to give up here. This might well be a front line for a while. So Marseille gets flipping ballista towers. Yeah, lovely. <laughs> oh dear. Right. Ladies and gentlemen, I would say that is more than enough for now. But next time, the Battle of the Iron Bruges will kick off. Because either the English will attack, or I'm going to desperately try and figure out a way to get some reinforcements in that direction. I don't know how I'm going to do it. Exactly, but I'm really hoping, yeah, if they wait two turns to attack, then I can get some forces there from the reinforcements from Metz. If they attack within the next two turns, then they're going to have to go up against a fortress. Then, even with my forces, I should be able to hopefully hold them off because they won't have actually been worn down. And also, we've got diplomats and spies heading north. It is possible, in fact, the Scottish might be willing to help us out, and even if they're not... A surprise attack on Nottingham strikes me as good payback for this. And all that is coming soon, ladies and gentlemen. But in the meantime, I've been John. This has been many a true nerd. And this has been Medieval 2 Total War. Thank you very much, and goodbye. Yeah. No, okay, that would have been good if I'd actually hit the ball. And swing! Yes, yes, yes! That is the swing! That is the swing! Come on! Go for you! Oh, yes! Oh, 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 oh! oh. <sighs> I'll get you next time, golf.